Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building CSX 3099, which is their safety train locomotive and also the spirit of West Springfield. And the only real difference is some lettering on the nose here and then these two safety train stickers on the side. And I actually didn't know this locomotive existed before this or I would have included it in my CSX safety train video. So if you want to build all the cars and do the whole safety train, I'll have a link to the video for all the cars in the description below. But one of the reasons I didn't know about this is from what I gather, this locomotive was destroyed in a wreck. And this is an ES44 ACH. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, we're going to start with the rear coupler, so take out a dark oak stair and get that attached up here. Under it, we're going to put a sideways dark oak bed skate. On the next block down, we're going to put three polished black stone blocks on the bottom middle, and then an upside down polished black stone stair on either side facing outward. Then five polished black stone above it here. In front of it, a three block tall T-shape in the center. Then we're going to hang a lantern on either side of this second layer. In front of that, a 5x3 of polished black stone coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're going to put three oak slabs coming up this side. And three coming up this side for stairs. And then three on this top middle back here. Then down here, we're going to open a dark oak fence gate above each of the rails. Then we're going to put two lightning rods here two on this side, and then up here we're going to put two mangrove fence gates and a creeper head. Then come directly in front of this and put a dark oak fence gate on each rail. In front of that we're going to do a set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. Then in the middle we're going to put a lectern here, and then a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. Then in the middle here, we'll put a string and a lectern above it. Then a sideways dark oak fence gate again. And then another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them here. Then come in front of this and put a lectern on the middle here. Then a sideways dark oak fence gate on the ends of either of these wheels. And then in these side gaps here, we're going to put two dark oak fence gates between each wheel. Same thing over here, two here, and two here. Then we're going to come up top with polished black stone and run a line up the middle on top. Stop when you're above this lectern. Then in front of it on bottom, we're going to go three wide with polished black stone, and we're going to make it 16 blocks long. So a three by 16 for the bottom of the fuel tank. Then in front of that, a dark oak fence gate on either side. Then here we'll put a string and electric going this way. Then we'll do a set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. Then a sideways dark oak fence gate in the middle and electric here. Then behind that, another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron. And then right here in the middle, a dark oak fence gate. Right here in the middle, a string and electric going this way. Then in front of that, a final set of netherite wheels here with a cauldron in between them. And then we'll put a dark oak fence gate on either end of these wheels and then two in these gaps between the wheels on all four here. Then we're going to come back up top on this fuel tank and we'll do another 3x16 of polished black stone up here. Basically just making this rectangle two blocks tall. Stop when we get right here and then run a line up the top middle until you're aligned with those fence gates. Then we're going to come through and put a hopper on the side of all six wheels here. And then come to the back truck and put a hopper on the side of all six of these wheels back here. Now we'll come up 
here on the second layer into a full row of dark oak bend skates here and a full row on this side. Same thing at the front, a full row of dark oak bend skates up here and on this other side here. Then we're going to drop down and crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all three hoppers. Same thing back here. And then we do the other side. So wither skeleton skull on these three hoppers. And on these three up here. Then we'll take deep slate tile stairs upside down on this outer edge here. And in between each of the hoppers, we're going to put a pair of upside down back to back stairs. And the same thing on this gap here, upside down back to back stairs. So it looks like that. And then we'll do the same thing back here. So a pair of upside down stairs here back to back and in this gap. And then of course we're going to do the same thing on this other side. A pair of upside down stairs back to back in both of these gaps here. One more corner to go. Same thing up here. Just like that. Then we'll put a dark oak fence on either side of the middle wheel all four sides of the trucks here. Just like that. Then we're going to come up top and crouch and we're going to put a deep slate tile slab, one of them above each of the six hoppers on the truck. Then we'll do the same thing back here, crouch and put a deep slate tile slab on all six of these hoppers. Then we'll take out a grindstone, and we're going to put one here and one here. Come up front, one here and one here. Then we do the same thing on the other side. One here, and one here. And one more corner to go. One here, and one here. Then come up here and crouch again, and we'll put a lightning rod here and here. Turn around and one here, one here. Then come up here and do the same thing. So a lightning rod there and there. And one here. And one here. Now come on this conductor side of the fuel tank and a full row of upside down polished black stone stairs on the bottom of it here. And then on this side we do a full row of polished black stone blocks on the top of it. Then at the back here we're going to put a brewing stand right here. Then on this side of the fuel tank, a full row of upside down stairs on the bottom. Then at the front, three polished black stone blocks on the front. And we're going to put a mangrove button, wither skeleton skull, mangrove sign. Then at the back of the fuel tank, two blocks and a mangrove button here. Then we'll do five sideways anvils here and five here for air tanks. Then we need a dark oak fence gate. Put a dark oak fence gate between the anvils. Then we'll come over on the conductor side and up here on the top of the fuel tank at the front. Skip two, a mangrove button. Skip one, a button. Player head. Skip one, a mangrove sign. Then at the front of the fuel tank here, we're going to put a bell right there. Now we'll come up to the front here, and right in front of this we'll take polished black stone block, 
and we're going to do a 5 by 3 coming out to each side of the tracks. Then in front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the middle, hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, three polished black stone stairs on the bottom middle, and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above that, we do a block on the center, two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then three oak slabs on this top middle, three coming up this gap, and three coming up this side. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler on the front here, and we're going to turn around and stack it up to this middle second block here. Under it, we're going to do a sideways dark oak fence gate. And then we'll open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the bottom. Then two lightning rods here. And two here. Then come to the back of the fuel tank on this side. And we're going to put a grindstone right here. Then we're going to come up on this third layer. And we're going to fill the whole top middle three with polished blackstone end to end. Then on this top outside edge here, on the third layer, we'll go end to end with yellow concrete. And then of course, same thing on this side, end to end up here with yellow concrete. And now our base is completed here. Now we'll come on top of the front on the third block in from the end. And on the left, we're going to put a column of two yellow concrete, then a door, next to that a yellow concrete on bottom, and a blue concrete on top, then a two by two of yellow here, and one yellow on the top middle. Then on either side of that, we're going to put a dark prismarine stair facing outward. Then behind this, two blue concrete on each side. Then a forward facing dark prismarine stair on either side, three blue concrete on the top middle. Then we're going to come in and grab blue carpet here. And we'll do a T-shape of blue carpet on the front porch, one on each side here and here, and a T-shape on top of the nose there. Then we'll come down here on the bottom of this side and do two blue shulker boxes of blue concrete. Two blue shulker boxes and two blue concrete. On this other side, we're going to do a blue concrete, upside down deep slate tile stair, smooth stone, then a blue shulker box, and a blue concrete. Then above it, five blue concrete here, and five on this side. Then up here, a blue concrete, and three yellow. On this other side, blue concrete, three yellow, and a blue. Then we need to come in and grab a warp door. Come over here. Put a warp door on the side like this, then a blue concrete behind it, turn this way and another door like that. Then right here above the yellow, three black stained glass panes, three on this side and a blue at the back on this side. Right here, two black glass, blue concrete, two black glass. Then on the side, a white stained glass pane here and one on this side here. Then we're going to take smooth court stairs and put five of them facing outward here and five on this side. Then on this top middle on the front, three blue concrete above the windows. And then we'll go ahead and fill in all the rest of the roof behind it with white wool. Then we're going to come on the side of the nose here. Right here, a birch button and above it a warp sign and we're gonna type spirit of on the top line here. And on the second line, West Springfield. Then we'll hit that sign with yellow dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. So a warp sign with Spirit Of on the top line and West Springfield on the bottom line. Then a button under it and hit the sign with yellow dye and a glow ink sack here. 
Now coming off the top of the cab on the back middle, we're going to do six blue concrete coming back, then two cobbled deep slate, two iron bars on either side of it. Then up here, we'll do two blue concrete, three sideways observers, and a blue concrete. Then on this side, a blue concrete, a sideways observer, a blue concrete with a dark oak sign on it. Then two sideways observers, and a blue concrete. Then we'll come up under here, and right here put a column of four blue concrete, then another column of four, then two with two blue stained glass panes above it. Then put blue concrete behind the stained glass panes here. Then we'll fill in the whole rest of this side here, four high with blue concrete, to the back of these iron bars. Then we need to come in and get a blue shulker box again here. And right here, we're gonna put two shulker boxes. And up here, we're gonna leave that like that so it's a stair up to the door. Then we'll do the other side here. And on this side, we're just gonna come right here and fill it all in four high with blue concrete to the back of this section. Then down in this corner, we're gonna go three high with blue concrete and bring it six blocks back from the cab. Then down in this corner, three blue stained glass panes. And then we're gonna come down and work on the back here. Back here, we change these two to blue wool and then this one over here. Then take blue concrete right here and do a pattern like this then a layer of yellow, then yellow on each side with blue in the middle, and then two layers of yellow. In front of this, we're gonna run a line of cobble deep slate up the middle, and that's gonna be eight blocks long. Then raise it up three blocks tall. Then in this back corner, we're gonna do a column of three deep slate tile walls. Then we'll skip one block, and we'll do a column of three, a column of two, then another column of three, then skip a block, and another column of three. Then on these bottom gaps on all three, put a blue shulker box, then above them iron bars, and then above those blue shulker boxes. Then on the top here, we'll run two layers of blue concrete to the front of this section. Then we'll come on this side, on this side at the back, three blue shulker boxes, then a dark prismarine stair, a blue wool with a trap door on it, and a blue shulker box above it. Then we need to go back to our deep slate tile walls here, and in front of this, a column of three, skip one, two columns of three, skip one column of three. Then a blue shulker box on the bottom of the gap, iron bars, blue shulker boxes on the top of the gaps. Then two layers of blue concrete up here to the front of this section on this side. Then on top of the back, we're gonna put two yellow concrete on each side like this. Then in front of it up here, we're gonna put five blue concrete coming forward. And then five on this side. Under the blue concrete, we're gonna put five upside down deep slate tile stairs here. Then five over on this side here. Then in front of this on the top, four right side up dark prismarine stairs here. And four right here. Under those, we'll put two deep slate tile slabs on the center. And same thing here, two slabs in the middle. Then we're gonna come up top here Take blue concrete, put one here, one here. Two walls in the middle with iron trap doors on them. Surrounded on top with dark prismarine slabs. Then run dark prismarine slabs up the middle here. And at this very back, three oak slabs going sideways. Then in this gap, a full row of deep slate tile slabs on either side for the radiators. Then we'll come in front of this here and we're gonna go four high with blue concrete on each side, and we're gonna bring that all the way to the front 
to fill in the side gap on each side. Right up till it's all connected here. Then we'll also fill this top middle with blue concrete. Then on top of the back, a 3x3 three three of blue concrete right here with a daylight sensor on the middle for the exhaust. Then we'll get dark prismarine stairs out. And we're going to put three stairs across here, then go to dark prismarine slabs. In front of it, two rows of three dark prismarine slabs, then two on each side, and then fill in the rest of this. In this gap, open back to back, warp fence gates for the horn. Then we're going to take out blue carpet here, come on top of this, cover this box with blue carpet. Then we'll come down here and do a full line to the back. Then we'll put two on the middle here, one here, and then a full line up this side. Then when we get up here, we'll crouch and get some carpet on these shulker boxes. Then we'll do our railings, so we're going to take out an oak fence, come up here, right here we come up four. Then right here, up three, over one, up two. Then up four right here, here up three, over one, and up two. Then two warp fences here, two here, and a chain across the gap. We're going to repeat it at the back, so go back here. Four oak fences here, three here, over one, up two. Same thing on this side, up three, over one, up two, up four right here. Then two warp fences here, two here, and a chain across this gap. Then connect warp fences up here and start bringing it forward up this walkway. And just keep it coming here. When you get right here, we come up one, over three, up one and over one. So it looks like that. Then we'll do the other side. So come down to this side, warp fences again and connect them up at the back and start bringing them forward. When we get right here, we're gonna put two on the end and then up to on the very end. And then we'll bring this over till it connects up right there. Now come on top of the front and put three white carpet across here. Behind it in the middle, we're gonna do a lever and then two iron trap doors. And surround the rest of this with white carpet up here. Then go to blue carpet right here and start filling this all in and bring it back till we're covering these iron bars. Then we'll go around the side here and here with blue carpet like that. Now come to the back with blue stained glass pane, one on the corner here and one here. Then we need to switch over to yellow stained glass panes here and we'll put three here and three here. Then we'll take out an oak sign on the side right here, and we'll put our number 3099. Same thing on this other side. Then we'll hit those with blue dye and a glowing sack. In the middle, a glow item frame with a frog light. Then back here, a glow item frame with a frog light on either of these fences. Then we gotta come up and detail the front end. So come up here, on either of these fences, a glow item frame with a frog light. And then we'll come up on top, right here, a glow item frame with a frog light. And on this very top, a dark oak sign on either side with 30.99. Then we hit those signs with white dye and a glow ink set. Now we need to make some banners. So come into a loom with a blue banner and yellow die. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top and bottom. New banner. We're gonna do a horizontal on the bottom and top, and then a diagonal. 
New banner, diagonal, and then the opposite diagonal. Then we'll put a blue border around all three of those. Then we're going to do a new banner in yellow dye, put a border on it, and make one half of it blue. Then we'll do the opposite, so a new banner, yellow border, and make the opposite half blue. Then we'll do a new banner again, yellow dye, horizontal on top. Then we're going to put on a plus shape and a border of blue. And this will be for our logo. So we're going to come up here underneath where the roof line dips down here. And we're going to put this bracket here, then CSX, then the opposite bracket. Then under each bracket, put this one for the boxcar logo wheels. We'll repeat the process on this side. So right up here, we'll do a bracket, CSX, the other bracket. Then these ones under each bracket. Now we'll come back into a loom with a black banner and yellow dye, and put a horizontal on the top and bottom, and then put a red border on that one. Then we go to a white banner with red dye, put a diamond on it, then go to blue and put a circle in the center, and a blue border on that. And these are for the safety train stickers here, and we'll come and place those. So we're going to come up on the side of the locomotive here, and we're going to take the white one, that goes right here under the iron bars, and then the black and yellow one right here under that observer. Then we're going to come over to this side, and we're going to put this one on the side of this inverter box here, and then this white one right here. And actually I'm going to move it over one so it's under the iron bars. Now we'll do the interior, so come on inside here. We're going to put an end portal in this corner over here. Then take smooth sandstone slab, stack it up to the window right here, and on this side. On the side here, stack the slabs up two blocks tall, so it's at the same level of the door. Same thing over here, two blocks tall on this side. Then we'll drop down here, and put a door right here. Come back through the door, one block in front of it, use smooth sandstone stairs to make a staircase coming up, and two slabs right here. Then back here, a blast furnace and a frog light. Then go back to your slabs, put one here and one here. Then a stair on either side for seats. Then right here, a lever. On the other side, a button. And in this middle, a glow item frame with an end crystal. And now our interior is done. And we'll come back outside. And if you don't like the look of this door, you can crouch and put a yellow banner on it. Then we're going to take out a blue banner, and we're going to put one here, and one here. Then we need to crouch, and we're going to put two blue banners over this door on the side, so the correct color is on the side of the cab, right there. And there we have it folks, we've completed CSX 3099, the safety train locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.